Hey, today I'm going to be showing everyone how to do a budget mining rig build. We're going to be starting off with an H270 Performance AS Rock motherboard. This has six PCIe lanes. It has two M.2 lanes for expansion and four slots for our DDR4 RAM. This is a 6th or 7th gen 1151 slot and we will be using an Intel Core i5 6400 today. You can pick these up used that are tested for a hundred dollars or less quite frequently. We will be using a Thermaltake Gravity i2 CPU cooler. Although this does come with thermal paste pre-applied, I do like to add a little extra just to make sure it has good coverage. For a power supply, you're going to be relying on an HP 1200 watt max output running on a 200 to 240 volt circuit. Be aware that if you only do a 120 volt circuit, you're only going to be able to get 900 watts max out of this uh, for this model. All the links will be in the description below. We're going to be using a breakout board with 16 PCI slots and this DC to DC ATX power supply. I like these, they're very convenient. You can run the motherboard and everything and you can hook it right into your PCI power slot coming off your breakout board. We're going to be running Linux. We don't need much RAM, but we're still going to be putting in 8 gigabits of DDR4-3200. Uh, this is Ballistics RGB RAM from Crucial. Well, let's get started. So for any build, you want to make sure that none of the pins on the bottom contact anything, any of the surfaces that it's sitting on. What I like to do, cut out a piece of plywood, as a mounting surface. When we're mounting a motherboard to any surface, we want to make sure, just like in a computer build, that we favor this edge for overlap. Because if we do want to test anything on the motherboard directly for a GPU, they do overlap this side. So we're going to favor this edge and we can set in on the sides a bit. We do need standoffs. In this case, just going to be using some nuts and I want to get them in all of our locations. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and there's a tenth one right here. So, I like to mark the positions of where they are.
take off our motherboard and set our nuts or washers or standoffs in place. Once we have our standoffs in place, we can set our board down on top of them. And if we didn't get them all aligned perfectly, we can go in and just center them a little bit better. This one's lined up pretty nicely here. I just want to let everybody know this is basically a gaming computer build. We're using it for mining. Anybody can do this. Um, and I do mean that. Very simple. I'm going to walk you through step by step here. So, we want to screw this down. Uh, because I'm using a plywood base, I'm going to be using some small wood screws that fit through the holes without pinching. I have the clutch. As you see, I am using a drill. I have the clutch set on the smallest setting, number one, so that there's very little pressure here. I mentioned this was a budget mining build. This is also a very fast mining build. Dad. Before we put in the screws on this side, I want to make sure I have my fan stand off underneath. 